Are you looking for the perfect drink for St. Patrick's Day? Well, this Irish coffee just hits the spot because it has that kick of caffeine as well as it's a little bit boozy. I'm Aliena and welcome to my kitchen. So to start making our Irish coffee, one trick if you're living in a cold area, I'm having a really hot day today, but on days when it's cold out, I like to fill my mug up with some really hot water. So my mug is really hot and it keeps the coffee hot for longer. But now I don't need this hot water, so I'm just going to pour this out. One of the great benefits of shooting outdoors. Okay, and now we can make our drink. So I have some homemade simple syrups. There's a lot of different sugars you can use when making Irish coffee, but I like this blend. It's a blend of brown sugar and light sugar. And to make our simple syrup, I took a fourth cup of brown sugar and then a fourth cup of white sugar along with half a cup of water. And I let this cook down until the sugar was completely dissolved. And here we have our simple syrup. And depending on how sweet you like your drinks, you can do half an ounce to a full ounce. I'm gonna start with half an ounce today because I don't like my coffee super sweet. And then I also have some Jameson. This is optional, but it is what makes it an Irish coffee is a little booze. So I have some Jameson Irish whiskey with me and I'm going to add in one ounce, but depending on your boozy preference, you can add in one to two ounces. And here I have some freshly brewed coffee. You do want this to be good quality coffee for this Irish coffee. And for my coffee today, I used a French press and my ratio is usually one and a half tablespoons per cup. And this is about two cups of coffee. Even though we only need one cup, I'm making a cocktail for my mom as well. So we have more coffee. There are some bugs out here. Okay. And now we can pour our coffee into our mug. I do like to make some homemade whipped cream. You can always use store-bought, but whipped cream is so easy to make that I like making it from scratch. So I have one cup of heavy cream, and to that I'm going to add in two teaspoons of granulated sugar, along with one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And depending on how you like your whipped cream, you can beat it longer and get those stiff peaks. But for this drink, I want there to just be very soft peaks. So I'm only going to blend it for about a minute and then check on it. Okay, and now I've added a good dollop of whipped cream on top because I love whipped cream. I think it's one of the best parts. And now it is time to taste our delicious Irish coffee. Ooh. Wow, that's really good. This is one of the best coffees. I'm a new coffee drinker, so I'm very particular about the coffee I drink, but I absolutely love this drink. I think the flavors are so balanced and you get that little boozy kick from the Jameson in there, which I love. So please let me know if you try this drink and what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you'd like to see more of my hot drink recipes, there should be a playlist right here or over here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next Sunday. Cheers! And don't forget to check back in next Sunday because we are making one of my favorite cheesy herb pull-apart breads.